Everybody. This is my haven call of the king. Let's play presented to you by none other than this anarchy entertainment system. In this level, I am going to be battling what appears to be that giant creature from what's it called? Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. That really awesome survival horror game for the GameCube, which is a Nintendo console for those of you who were born in, I guess, the last three years. So you're three years old and you're watching my videos, I guess, and uh, I, I don't see why you're watching my videos. You should probably stop watching my videos because I say some dirty words and I don't think your parents would be very happy with me if a little three-year-old you was watching these videos and I start cursing like a sailor. I mean, I... I... I can't... I can't censor myself for the sake of every three-year-old who happens to wander onto my YouTube channel, so I am sorry, but three-year-olds, you're just going to have to deal. Alright, so in this level, you, you just gotta... Blind the big eyes. You, you gotta blind the big eyes, and once you blind the big eyes, then you jump down into the big belly of again what appears to be the big creature from Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. You know the big evil god thing that you know is a uh, the one that's like manipulating all of the others and trying to. Oh, that's a spoiler. Never mind. Uh, but that's a cool game, you know. Eternal Darkness, it's, it's a really cool game, and I really like it. I really like survival horror games. They are fun. They're, they are a lot of fun to be had. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Whew. These, these, uh, these narrating segments, they're, they're running me ragged, man. They're, they're running me pretty ragged. Let, let me just break this down for all of you viewing currently because there, there's quite a few minutes of me just just putting my flashlight in this fucker's eyes. Sorry, three-year-olds. I mean, suckers. This sucker's eyes. Um, you, 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 just, you just keep blinding them and blinding them. You go, there's his uvula. I always used to think that uvula was a part of the female anatomy. I, I learned after a while that that was completely incorrect. Um, anyway, just so I can explain, this is my 26th video in this particular series. So that's 26. I'm on my calculator right now. 26 times 10, that would be about 10 minutes per video, which I'd say is a pretty fair estimation of how long each video is. That's about 260 minutes. When you divide that by 60, which, you know, is hours, of course, then you get 4.33333333 hours of recording. Now, of course, I'm not doing this all at once, but that's just... That's kind of depressing, that a cumulative amount of 4.33333333 hours that I've sat in front of my laptop in a really hot room because I have to turn off the air conditioning so the air conditioning isn't making these really loud sounds that then come into the microphone and just completely mess up the audio! So it's, it's hot in here, it's hot and I'm sticky and sweaty and I've got to got this tattoo on my back it's a temporary tattoo but it says inked and I'm not sure where it came from but it's a little uncomfortable but you know it's 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 all sorts of unpleasant but I do it for you you know pain for the sake of art if this can even be considered art, I don't know if I would consider this art. It's a let's play. It's just for fun. But then fun, you know, I guess you could consider that, you know, something that is created for the sake of fun just has as much artistic merit as anything else. What? What says that one thing is art and one thing is not art? Are all movies art? 
Is every movie art? Can we say that Anus McGillicuddy, a movie about a guy who has a, a completely disgusting obsession with breasts, like, more obsessed than the average male, like, 300 times more obsessed than the average male, uh, who kills, or he doesn't kill a person, his, um, his woman, as called in the description of the movie. Let me start this description over. Anus McGillicuddy is a movie about a guy who has to get rid of a body, and in doing so has a lot of fantasies about lesbians making out. That's what the entire movie basically is, and there's some kind of subplot about Satan. But... I just killed a big spider with a silkworm ass, so... Ain't no skin off my back. But yeah, who's to say that Anus McGillicuddy is not a piece of art, whereas something like The Godfather is considered art? It's a really strange dichotomy, because you'd think that everything that is created should be art in some sense of the word. Then again, I am not a person. I'm not a person! There, I said it! I'm, I'm actually... <laughs> you guys aren't gonna believe me, but I'm a wombat! Yeah, yeah, I said you wouldn't believe me. I'm a wombat. Yep. I'm adorable. I'm an adorable wombat that speaks the English language and plays video games. And has a family of wombats. Uh, everything you know about my family, you know that my dad's a lawyer, so my lawyer wombat. Uh, a brother. Brother wombat, so yeah, yeah. Got a whole wombat family doing all these goofy human things that wombats shouldn't be doing. They, they're things that humans should be doing, but why are wombats doing them? Now, that would make for a pretty goofy sitcom. I, I would probably watch that sitcom. A family family of wombats that does things that humans do. Yeah, I think that would be interesting. Of course, that's that's my life to begin with, so I, I don't need a sitcom for it. But, uh, if you've been watching this running through the cave scene, you, you may, uh, you may be noticing when I get hit with those big green balls of fury that I start freaking out a little bit, don't know which way I'm going. That's that's because those green balls do that timeless video game trick that nobody really likes. That is, it makes you go, when you press the control stick in one direction, you go the opposite direction. It's, it's just a pain in the ass. But hey, the good news is I killed that fuck. Most excellent work, dude. Our village is saved again and the Xeno Queen is defeated. I must say, it's been great to see you due to the skies, and I have no doubt that- Oh, I forgot about this moment. I actually like this moment. I think this moment has comedic merit. But then the rest of the game kinda, not so much. But uh, I'll pick up next time. Yeah, well, see you later, guys. Yeah.